Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a hair adventure to share with you. I promised to tell you the whole story of my last salon visit. So I'm gonna do that today as I'm styling my hair. So this is gonna be a little more casual than my usual hair tutorials. So a little bit like a get ready with me hair tutorial. So to start off with, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. So here's 2,000 words. Now, I promise you that was not exactly what I had intended or what my hairstylist had intended, but that's kind of what happened. So as we go along, I'm gonna explain myself and then I'll share with you how we fixed it. So let me get this towel out of my hair. So the original thought was to have some deep violet lowlights put in. And my thinking was that they would be so subtle that only if maybe out in the sunshine, they might kind of show up with a little bit of a violet tinge. Um, and I was thinking that they could just be well hidden. So if I wanted them to show, they would show, but otherwise I could maybe pull my blonde streaks over it and you wouldn't be able to see it quite as much. So that was my thought. And as you can see from the pictures, it's not exactly what happened. Um, as we go along, I'll go ahead and interrupt myself and share with you the products I'm using. This is the Amica Supernova Blonde Violet Moisture and Shine Cream. As you'll find out in a little bit, um, my hair is going to be needing a little extra help in the moisture department. So I use that and then I'm going to use some of the K-Pak Color Therapy Luster Lock Glossing Oil. So after I left the salon with my hair like that, I thought, oh no, I don't think this is what I wanted. And I thought, okay, I'm going to live with it for a few days, wash it, style it myself. Maybe it's okay. <laughs> that whole night and the next day, the next morning, I was like, every time I would see myself in the mirror, I thought, oh, no, 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 I can't. This is, this is way too purple. I'm going to use my catwalk root boost. So I called my hairstylist. And thankfully, she had an opening that next day. And she had told me when I left the salon originally, she said, Shirley, I have a great, easy way to remove this hair color if you decide you're not a purple girl. So that next day, I was talking to my husband. I said, I think I've decided I'm not a purple girl. And he said, yeah, I don't think you're a purple girl. So. That was confirmation I needed to get the purple out of my hair. So um, I went back in and she was able to successfully, um, she put the remover on and it was pretty amazing. Now I did find this morning, I don't know if you'll be able to see it at all. Once it's dry, you might be able to detect just the faintest little bit of a lavender tinge like right here, but otherwise she was able to get it out, but then she did need to go back in and add some more bleach because those strips of hair were a little more warm toned. So as I'm drying, you'll probably be able to pick it up. I'll tell you what I've been using to shampoo my hair to kind of help correct that. But okay, let's blow dry and then I'll finish my story. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so I just decided to add this little bit of a flip here, but as you're looking at my color, you can see how blonde it is, and that is why, because basically I had two rounds of a bleaching process. So um, I have been toning with my Amica Buster Brass Shampoo. This stuff is amazing. So I've used that now about six days straight and um, also had some samples of the Amica conditioner and those two combined have pretty much almost taken out the brassiness that was there. So my stylist said my hair is getting more and more stubborn to pull the color out and to get the bright blonde. So, um, you know, future we may have to kind of work a little more dark in, but let's go ahead and add our, take our flat iron through here, a few pieces. So basically the purple, well, I think the, the thought was kind of fun. Um, my stylist and I both realized that with a short hairstyle like this, it's really hard to disguise strips of color. So um, you just kind of need to make sure that you are okay if those strips of color actually really show. And also you'll notice from the picture, if you go back, um, there was like this purple stripe right here. Well, she had done a slice of high of the purple through here. And the thought was, well, it could be hidden under here. Well, this hair is short. And so it just ended right here. And so it looked like I had a purple stripe here and then right here. And what I also realized about the color, part of it because it was such kind of a brighter, a little brighter than I originally intended, I felt like I was gonna need to match my makeup and my outfits every day to match my purple hair. And I'm like, no, that's so not me. So um, I'm not counting out, you know, changing up my hair color slightly, um, but I don't think I'm gonna go in with any crazy colors anytime soon. If you have longer hair, it is a fun thing to be able to tuck in, you know, kind of here or there or right here, maybe a violet streak and you can disguise it much better. But with short hair, trust me, it's a little hard to disguise. All right, so, um, this, my cut, I had her um, go back to the undercut. I had been growing the back quite a bit because I had wanted to have some more blonde kind of taken through the back. So as we finish, I'll show you kind of the back and how it looks, but um, it, I was just kind of ready for the undercut again. Um, might be doing some change-ups kind of in the future, maybe a little bit longer. Um, here through the top, but yeah, um, it was nice to kind of get everything cleaned up and you know, it was a fun hair adventure. It gave me a fun story to tell, right? All right, so now I'm just going in with my Enjoy Dry Wax and using this to add some lift and volume. Even though she did do quite a lot of texturizing and my hair feels thinner, um, if you've had your hair colored or highlighted, you know that that kind of makes it a little bit fuller. Not having too hard of a time, kind of just adding a little bit of volume here on the side. And I'm just going to kind of use that little curl, it's kind of like a flip here on the side. And then here in the back, I'm just kind of pushing it kind of towards the center and especially along the hairline because I just have some crazy cowlicks there and it can just look a little strange. So, all right. Okay, now let's hit it with some hairspray going in with the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray. And then here on the sides, 
where the undercut is, I do like to kind of just rake my fingers through that, kind of break it up. And now with that added blonde highlight top, it really kind of shows a little bit more clearly the undercut. All right, one final step just to make my blonde look a little shinier. I'm using the Hemp and Red Wine Gloss Spray Treatment by Agadir. Okay, so here's our finished look today. So as you can see, this isn't that different than what I've had in the past. I did have her go back to the number four on the undercut, which is I think a quarter of an inch. Um, and then here at the, the neckline, we've just been trying a few different things. She did leave it a little bit kind of wispier rather than real blunt cut because the blunt cut with my coarse kind of wavy hair, it does not look straight and blunt for more than like two hours. <laughs> so uh, we've just kind of been playing around a little bit with that. But um, yeah, still pretty short. As I said, I'll probably be growing maybe a little bit of this out a little bit longer. I don't know. So while it was fun to kind of push myself to step out of that box and try something new, I was really only out of the box for about 24 hours before I said, help, I gotta get back in that comfort zone box. But it was fun while it lasted, but I don't think I'm gonna be going back to purple hair anytime soon. So I hope that you enjoyed hearing my hair adventure story and coming along with me today as I styled my hair and finished getting ready. Thank you so much for being here. If you're not already a subscriber, I hope you will hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.